I never thought I would open up my salon because in my head I always thought it was so much responsibility. What really triggered me to do it is because I just wanted my own team. I just wanted my own home. I wanted to set my own rules. When it was all done, it was like the biggest pride, the biggest joy. So tell me about when you first started at John Frieda. How was that for you? That first day I walked in so nervous. It was uh, my first time being uh, in a, such a big salon, such a beautiful space. That night when we finished, I knew that's where I wanted to be. Uh, my first day at John Frieda was actually the day that I thought I was gonna do this for the rest of my life. I started working with a talented colorist there and just being there for my first day, seeing the work that he created, I was blown away. I was like, oh, that's gonna be me one day. So, I mean, you're kind of known for being a traveling hairstylist. You work in uh, New York and Miami, as well as Los Angeles. Um, how did that come about? I mean, I love to travel. I feel like if I'm in one spot for a long period of time working, I just, like, I need more inspiration, more motivation. When I'm out of the salon and working in these other cities, just meeting new people and setting new trends in that city just makes me so proud and, like, motivated of what I do. And when I come back here, I want to bring that work back home, you know what I mean? Yeah, my first client that I ever did color on was my brother's girlfriend. And um, it was fun. I mean, it was someone that I knew she wasn't going to come back and beat me up if it didn't work out. But it, it did take a long time, I must say. I mean, it's been like so long and I'm still doing her hair. So I guess it, it's, it's good, right? So let's talk about B3 a little bit. How has it changed the way that you do hair color? makes the hair feel better, makes the hair feel shinier. Especially if you're doing a, a major change from someone going from uh, brunette to blonde, it's definitely a good idea to put it in your lightener and just gives it the hair that extra protection. I did notice a change before and after I used B3. Um, keeps the hair more uh, nourished, doesn't dry the hair out. No, I just want to put it in everything. I mean, it's in the base color, the lighteners. It, it's just the uh, extra pop extra sweetness to the color. You know, I, I always follow you on Instagram and one of your hashtags that you always use is perfect hair. Uh, what does that mean to you? It just means everyone deserves to have perfect hair and we try to give everyone perfect hair. One advice I could give to a young person starting in the industry is to always stay on top of the hair game, stay on the new trends that come out because change is good. Some clients want to see change they sit in your chair for something new, and the more creative you get, the more artistry you can bring to the table.